Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Pascal and I represent Costly Electric Buckets. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make these electric diesel buckets the perfect way, the right way and the proper way that will guarantee your customers absolute satisfaction. I'll also be showing you how to find the perfect location or site where you can use as your hot selling spot. How to convince a customer to buy your buckets? How to give a very good customer service to your customers? How to manage your business and become your own boss? As we all know, our communities have been plagued with water and electricity scarcity due to climate change and other economic factors. So to find a solution to this pressing problem, here at Costly, we make electric buckets that can replace high energy usage and as a result, save you money and save you a lot of water consumption. Okay, everyone, um, at this point, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this electric design bucket. As you can see here, we've got um, all the tools and the elements which we're gonna be using um, to install onto this bucket. This bucket here is just basically like, um, I want to put this, a, use, a, a bucket that is obviously not gonna be used for, uh, it's gonna, not gonna be uh, for sale but it's only going to be used just for this particular time of um, training uh, or rather um, a tutorial uh, section on how to put install elements and also how to install um, the, the taps as you can see I've got the tap I've got this tap here which is also going to be installed onto the bucket I'm going to show you how to do all of um, these and then, um, all right, first and foremost, if you do not have a machine to make the hole, that cost my lungs, all you need to do is um, get your element. This is the seal, so you get a marker or a pen that has got a um, very good um, outlining um, thickness in terms of uh, ink um, reflection on the surface. So your measurement from the bottom of the bucket to the point where you want to draw your circle I normally use this uh, um, lens, I use my uh, pinky finger as a, a measurement, um, a sort of uh, like a ruler measurement. Um, and then this, at this point here is actually perfect, you know, in terms of range between the bottom of the bucket to the level where you need your element to be at. Then next you draw a circle inside this particular seal. But the circle is not perfect as you can see. Um, so that is why having a machine is the best option to go for. But if you don't have the money to buy the machine, rather than do it manually, as um, you see me do it now. Um, then next, get your knife. The knife must be very, very sharp. You hit your knife up with the lighter. the knife in the center of the circle and then you start to cut 
So when you cutting, you have to be very careful. It do not ruin the bucket. Um, so you cut very gently. So this is the method I use when I'm cutting. So you cut along the line of the circle you've made. So it takes a lot of elbow grease to cut this circle. This is one of the um, most time consuming part. That is if you're not using a machine, obviously. The machine is a lot quicker. It makes your job a lot easier. And, and also, avoids any irregular overlap when I cut it. Okay, so we've got this here now, as you can see, the hole is not very smooth. Um, however, you can try to, you have to smoothen it off. Um, by like scraping off the part that is um, like edgy and overlapping. Okay, so now at this point. Um, you strip off um, this part here, make it make uh, this part here a lot thinner for your um, seal. The seal of the, like the space in between. So the space in between goes right into the um, this circumference of this part here that. This seal is gonna, uh, you know, find its way uh, to fit in. Um, so for for you to get a fine, smooth uh, lineup, you have to scrape off this. How am I gonna put this now? You have to scrape off these rough patches. Yes, scrape off these rough patches by using this. Uh, blunt part of the uh, this blunt side of the, uh, of the knife so basically you just scrape them off like this and then you do the same from the inside
Alright, so thank you very much everyone. This is that from us, Castle Electric Bucket. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a lot more content coming your way.